Boom! He's back. Yeah, I like to have interaction like that, talk to people and see their... Uh... But now I've changed my speech a bit, you know, I don't approach people and uh, like... Just ask them, have you ever questioned the nature of reality? First of all, you know, that's a big step forward if you haven't if you've never never like not only question where you are but but the system and all the, the all the evil stuff that's happening around us my shirt is uh... yeah all the like if you have never questioned the state of the world i might not go so rough on you but if you have a little bit of an idea of the the lies and that the uh, you know politicians are there to trick the mind of people and stuff you might you already have an open mind you know you you sense that there is something at least because most of us cannot sense at all most of us cannot sense at all because they would not be in a vat scan yard they wouldn't go vote they wouldn't uh, do all this madness uh, that they demand from us to keep perpetuating the overly so more of us would become conscious of the, the madness and what we're participating in would be a great, uh, great leap forward for humanity. And that's what I think it's all about. Moving forward is the aim. That's what we want. We don't want to stay on pause. Humanity's on pause, but we don't need to stay on pause. And it's going to be conscious people like us that's going to, you know, you're... If you're doing your part in this awakening, you're part of the, you're making history because, you know, people a hundred years from now will talk about us, for sure, about the the awakening and the, for sure, we're taking this to, it's too big to not impact a lot of people, like it's way too big as awakening to uh, not have a ripple effect. On people it's too big it's too big you recognize your own divinity you know, and everything you know, it's like it's very it's a very big awakening for me it's the it changed my whole life you know. it has the potential to change your own life too if you let it you might resist you might resist but what you resist will persist so be very careful you should not resist change or uh, expansion of your awareness because this is where the big growth takes place. Huh? This is where most of the growth takes place. Is by expanding your awareness of who you are. It's expanding your awareness of who you are. You can talk about the world. You can, uh, yeah, you can talk about all their madness. But it's more... I think it's more to uh, start being emp empowering yourself. Yeah? Empowering yourself to start going on a journey, start sparking that sense of mission. You know, nothing comes to life like this with just a bit of a... No, it's going to take you many, uh, many nights in silence, you know, shutting down the, the noise around you and shutting down the, the bad vibrations around is necessary to find out who you really are. For sure, you got to go in silence and you got to shut down the noise a bit around you which most of us are not willing to do, you know, we prefer being distracted than being on our purpose. Instead of working on our purpose, we prefer have the purpose of Babylon, have a purpose defined to us. That's the reality. Not my reality anymore, because I've been given the opportunity to, uh, to rise above uh, my circumstances, and I do it. I don't... Uh, take my pain and let it bring me down and in depression and stuff because I could because I could because I cannot even do the job I was doing before so uh, you know I'm left on my own <laughs> so it's very uh, but I've decided to take this to another level and start inspiring myself first of all to keep a positive spirit and if if I keep a positive spirit and this and uh, no I I think that the rest will follow, the rest will follow, the rest will fall in place. It's inevitable. It's inevitable. It's like when you start shining, uh, people are going to see that your light uh, if they are in tune with uh, other people. Anyway, uh, I know some people are going to remain dead, but it's not those people that I want to 
concentrate on the Moses. Uh, they have to see it for themselves. I cannot. Uh, I cannot wake up anybody. I can inspire you. I can show you the door. It's many things. But it's up to you. It's up to you. It's up to you and me to create reality. It's up to you and me to make this life free and beautiful. Most of us are distracted and very much centered on our own uh, person, on our own, uh, on our own uh, person. So it's very, uh, it's very uh, weird what the world is experiencing now. Very weird. Very. You know that's what you realize once you get in touch with reality. First of all, you're gonna look like the one out of touch with reality because they think they know everything. People think they know everything, but they know nothing. They know fuck all. We've been bamboozled and all we know is lies and lies after lies and with more lies and more false truth. And so people are under the illusion of knowing a lot, which is preventing them from... Because you're in the illusion of knowing who you are, of knowing everything. I don't know. They, they defined everything for you so you don't have to step into the mystery of trying stepping into the, the journey of finding the mysteries of life and so the vibration stays low the vibration stay low because no one is really in touch with the mysteries and dreams and the dream of life the dream that we're in you know, so many people are very 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 bamboozled very bamboozled out of alignment and uh, do not seek for god outside of themselves seek for divinity outside of themselves and that's why we have the confused world that we have because if everyone imagine if everyone would step into their uh, their divine power of creator and manifest it and manifest it imagine the realm here how it would look like imagine this realm how it would look like total different things total different vibe well that's what i am a total different vibe too and i think we should all become a total different vibe than what we have now on this plane because it's very very uh, low vibration very low vibration you know people me it makes me laugh bright sunny day and people all have their sunglasses on it's like we've been waiting for this sun to come out all winter and what do you do you come outside and you put sunglasses on this is so unconscious you know we're so unconscious so so unconscious it's freaking terrible the unconsciousness in people uh, sometimes it strike me with the the lightning bolt of nonsense because it's so anyway we're anyway me i'm not trying trying to not to judge them to try to relate myself most possible to the story of people but i don't know we're just so bamboozled so uh, like there's two person there probably gonna I'm sure they won't come and talk to me, but if they're interested, you know, now this is what I tell people. I talk about stuff that people don't want to hear. If they ask me what I'm doing, I'm doing videos on YouTube and I'm talking about stuff that people do not want to hear. So stay away from me for your life. And that usually they go away. Usually they go away or they want to hear what I have to say, but I don't know. Sometimes I just hope they go away because... I don't know, I don't feel like putting life energy into this, to me it's so obvious, so obvious, so, so, so obvious. And that when I have to argue with people, I have to bring out my ego and it's all about ego and you don't see what I see. So, you know, I prefer, like now, almost push people away from me and tell them to stay away from me for their life. Because your life is going to take a drastic turn if you talk to me, it's like, you, the, 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 the reality you live in is completely fabricated so, and you don't even know you don't even question it so you know it's not me here with a few uh, few words that's gonna change your reality so sometimes I prefer just uh, I don't know divert people into other subject it, it, like the guy before asked me said what are we gonna talk about today but I said motivation and other stuff I said stuff that people don't want to hear Said, ah. so was that I said is it harsh I said no it's not harsh it's stuff you already know you just never questioned it but it could be harsh to realize that you've been taken for a fool and that you have lived your life like an idiot because you haven't questioned anything that's what happened to me i'm humble enough to to admit it and to move forward you know it's 
the, the greatest rise will be after you fall, after you take in a fall. And I've taken a fall realizing this, realizing that my, my intelligence was being insulted big time. It was a drastic change for me. How about?